Welcome to the next installment in my video lecture series in economics. And in this particular video lecture, we're going to be discussing a few things from my microeconomic principles course. In particular, chapter five, which relates to elasticity. And the question is uh, referenced as concept question 2.1 from the, the publisher. And what this looks at, we're just looking at the skills needed to calculate a percentage change. In particular, we're going to take a look at the difference between calculating the percentage change using the initial point as uh, the method that we are going to be looking at versus the midpoint method. So here's an example of the question. I changed a few of the items here, so I would not be answering the actual question for any particular student, because the purpose of this is to show you how to do this particular problem, not to do it for you. So you see here we have a change in quantity demanded represented by points A and B is shown in the diagram to the right. Point A which is a quantity of 25 and a price of 80 is the initial point and point B where the quantity is equal to 30 and the price is equal to 70 is the point after the price change. So point A is the initial point, point B is the point after the change in the price. So we are going to calculate the percentage change in the price using the initial, initial value as the base and then the midpoint method as the base. So using the initial value method, we know that the percent change in the price is the new price, P2, subtracting the original price, P1, and dividing by the initial price. So we can put that information in. The new price is equal to 70, so that's P2 relating to point B. The initial point price was 80, so that's point A, and then we divide by the initial price of 80, and we multiply that by 100, and that gives us a negative 12.5% change in the price using the initial value method. If we go to the midpoint method, you can see that the denominator is now different. Before we just had P1 in the denominator. Now we're taking P1, adding P2, and dividing by 2. So we're taking, using the point halfway between points A and B to calculate uh, this percent change in the price. So we can put that information back in here. And we have 70 minus 80 in the numerator. And then we have 80 plus 70 add it together and divide that by 2. So that gives us 70 minus 80 in the numerator over 75. We multiply that by 100 and we get negative 13.3 percent for the percent change using the midpoint method. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. Uh, I noticed in this particular semester there were quite a few students who had difficulty doing this particular question. It was identified in the item analysis that I do every single week. So realize that there are two different methods for calculating the percent change in a value that we're looking at. We can use the initial method, which divides by the initial value of the particular uh, uh, concept that we are calculating here, it's a percent change in the price. Or we can use the midpoint method, which means we look at the price at A and at B, add them together and divide by two, and that is what we divide the numerator by. Hopefully this was helpful to you. As I said, uh, quite a few students had difficulty doing this particular question. So I thought it would be useful to have this as a video moving forward for the course.